Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. South Africa is fast becoming a front runner on the global green building scene, with the 2016 World Green Building Trends Report stating that the country could become a world leader in the industry over the next few years. Natasha Woodendahl has been following the story. She joins me now. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Natasha, you were at a Green Building Council event this week that discussed the World Trends Report. Uh, what were some of the highlights? Well, the main one that stood out basically was that South Africa had the highest proportion of green activity um, in a survey of 69 countries. And over the next three years, that activity is supposed to accelerate or is expected to accelerate um, and, and give us more significant growth than what we already have. The report specifically stipulated that if we continue to this upward trend, if we continue to aggressively pursue any our green building initiatives, we will become one of the leaders in the next three years. An ambitious target, but it seems like it's doable. The Green Building Council of South Africa is absolutely ecstatic about this, actually believes it is possible. Um, we have now the skills, we have the momentum um, that is busy taking place, um, we can actually do it. And in the survey itself, the respondents, um, which is above average, the global average at the moment, believe that you know three, oh, about 60 odd percent of their own projects will be green in the next five years. Sure, so um, has the country seen any other growth in green building? Now the Green Building Council actually mentioned that from one green certified project in 2009, it has literally doubled every year. Last year it reached over 150 um, certified, well green building certified um, projects um, and this year already it's gone up to 167. By the end of this year it's expected that the Green Building Council will have about 310 green certified projects under its belt. And what does this all mean for South Africa? Well one of the highlights is obviously them building a new industry is the skills development. The Green Building Council of South Africa has actually been training um, students in the industry. I mean, it's a relatively new industry in South Africa. Um, so when we started off, we really didn't have much in the way of skills and knowledge and you know, any development initiatives in this field. The Green Building Council has partnered with three universities. They're training up the um, students, they're training up people in this field. And it looks like they've been successful so far because they say that, that we don't have any shortages, um, which is one of the um, survey's highlights, that we actually have a shortage in the skills in green building itself. But it doesn't look like we do. In the future, though, this could be good for us because if we keep developing our skills in green building, we can actually export it into Africa. A lot of countries in Africa still need to pursue their own green building initiatives. And if South Africa continues the way it has been continuing, it can actually, you know, aid the rest of Africa. It can place the continent itself as a front runner in green building. Thanks, Natasha. That's the Second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.